Hello, welcome back to a Four Eyes in the Skyscraper video. This is not the same as our other videos, our other podcasts. No. This is more of a um, more of a video for kind of us in the future, and hopefully it's interesting to those of you out there that like making music, um, or if you just want to see behind the scenes to the music writing process. Yeah, it? it's a bit of a selfish one, this one. We are essentially going, well, we're going to film ourselves having a little writing sesh, coming up with some ideas, and then, you know, in the future, we'll look back and either think, well, we was shockingly bad back then or we think do you know what we actually was at a decent place by then yeah um, and it's interesting as well because i remember when like we first came into music and you first start writing music and you don't know where to start or what to do and like is there a right or wrong way of doing things and we still have no idea what the answer is we just know there's a way we kind of like doing it the way that works for us and like sunny said in the future we'll look back and like it'll either be an efficient way of doing it or a really stupid way of doing it so yeah. let us know in the comments what you think of our process. We're going to start completely from scratch. Brand new Logic project. Um, show you the different kind of pieces. Uh, that's, well, Sonny, Sonny's the guy that produces this stuff. And uh, he'll show you like where we sort of go to find sounds and how we then kind of make them our own and um, start to come up with a vibe. We've got no reference. We're just going to go completely from scratch and whatever vibe we start to feel, we'll then start laying some vocals. And hopefully by the end of this video, in about an hour's time, we should have a hook. Just a chorus yeah, and a hook and, melody, idea, yeah. and maybe some lyrics. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. We've got a time lapse set up so you guys can see like this is genuinely, we're doing this in an hour and... Um, Straight and up an hour, yeah? I, re I reckon, yeah. I reckon what is it? Is it are we over. talking like strictly an hour as in like there's going to be a countdown on wherever it's nah. at after an hour it's done? Or if it's like we're close to finishing something, we're talking like 60 seconds away, can we finish that? No, nah, yeah, I reckon we've. Oh, I reckon it's yeah less of a challenge with this. It's more of just like an insight, isn't it? Really? Cool, 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 cool. Um, so it will be. It's however long it takes us. But normally we can get like a hook done in about an hour or an idea fleshed out in an hour, like easily. Sometimes really they're very cool. different. Before we start this, we'd just like to say this isn't like one hundred percent solid. How we do it every time. It's just roughly how we do it. Like sometimes Ryan will come with an idea on his voice notes. Ryan's always bolting around the house, like you know, <laughs> singing <laughs> something into the voice notes. Sometimes it starts literally just from something like that and trying to play some chords to that and then going from there. But you know, today we'll find something on the top lap and then uh, yeah, get a little idea, get some yeah. more. And just let us know in the comments what you guys think. Um, if there's bits you like, and you never know, if we end up writing something sick, we might potentially release it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that'd be cool. Let's go, let's do it. It's our first video like this, we're quite tight. Quite excited, mate. Alright. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The crack on the laptop. And then, um, normally, you obviously just open a Logic project. And then, sometimes if you have a reference, we'll listen to some references first on YouTube or something. But in this case, we do just want to go from scratch. And then, uh, go through Splice and just sort of, um, and find things that we like. And then, probably get on the piano a little bit find some chords if you want a chord sequence and just build it literally like out of inspiration like spontaneous inspiration each step we've said specifically that we like kind of driving music yeah we? like we want everything to be like you could drive along and listen to it 103 that's a kind of yeah. nice tempo for that i think a few bounces here and there is, is cool but like yeah, this kind of music is just easy on the ears mm -hmm. it's also stuff that you guys listen to isn't it so yeah man exactly all right so we get on splice what is Slack? Um, search through. What was that? Slack. It's a website full of. I actually see an advert for it on YouTube. You know those old YouTube ads. <laughs> um, and it come up, and there was a few producers that I actually just used to watch on things like Genius Deconstructed and stuff, and they were raving about this. And it's just a site full of samples and drum sounds and things like that. And you get little apps like down here, for example, if you type clap. Here's all the snazzy claps that I've downloaded. You know, that kind of stuff, and then you can put them in your songs, and then here, you have like a kick or something like that. Ooh. Do you want to free man to say Cool, so it's basically a big library full of sounds. Yeah. And sometimes there's also even ideas that other people, have, basically unfinished ideas of other people that you can then develop. Kind your, of, yeah, but you can take them and make, yeah. like, you can take them and go a million different ways with them, like with effects. So, like, I don't think we've ever taken a sound and just used that raw sound. Always take it and warp it and distort it in loads of different ways and make it your own. Mm. But you just, there's so many good ideas there already that, like, you don't always have to go start from scratch. And it's, I kind of like the idea that, um, that you're kind of sharing sounds with other people and that someone somewhere in like 
Uruguay made a sound, upload it online, you ended up putting it in your song and you released it. Like, there's, actually, like, there's actually a song that me, I won't, I won't name the song because I don't know if they want me to say this on it, but there's a song that me and you love. And uh, we basically just found like a lot of the breakdown, like the samples, like they sound very different because whoever produced it has changed everything. But we found like the samples from that song, mm. and that was just a bit of a geeky moment for me. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, man, it's cool. See ya. Explain what we're looking for now, Sonny. What we're looking for first? Just like, I like the melodic kind of sounds, or like just some sort of vibe before anything percussiony. Some people start with the drums, but I don't know. I like to get. Yeah. The musically. So was it basically getting the sort of like hooky or drivey sort of sound that'll be in the track. Um, and that's I, so either a melody, it could be a synth, could be a loop, could be a guitar loop, like it could be literally anything or a vocal loop. And um, we'll find something like that and then that will be like, okay, that sets a bit of a precedence and then mess with the sound a little bit and start taking it a certain way and then look at percussion and things like that after. Unless we come up with a sick melody off the top of finding one sound, mm. then we'll go that way. Yeah. So. Very, very flexible approach. Yeah, man. Literally just a spontaneous inspiration, I think, is the way to sum it up. Mm -hmm. Just like, yep, that's cool, let's go there. Oh, that's now cool, let's go there. Let's yeah. see what happens. Is this maybe a good time to cut and then come back when you found an inspiration? I think we just found a sound. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah. I wanna like. It's quite hot. Let me bring it down. Like. Yeah. Man's got a smoothie on the go as well. By the way, stay healthy, kids. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> bring it back, bitch. What, what smoothie is it, man? That is um. It's called an epic smoothie. Oh, okay. Anna made it for me, so. What are the ingredients? Anna made it for me, so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's lost it! So now he's uh, EQing. You EQ, EQing that, um, that sound. Yeah, just change So it. what does EQ, so EQ mean? Yeah, so explain that a little bit, Sonny. Like, the first thing you do is EQ, right? I mean, I'm gonna be real with you right now, yeah? <laughs> this whole thing is very new to me. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't really know what the fuck EQing means, but I know that it changes the sound, so I just keep doing that until it sounds pretty, and then we roll with that. Literally. I know that you wanted a really cool, snazzy, geeky <laughs> answer, but I've just not got one for you. I'm I mean, we need to consult but, like Google or something. So basically, EQing will take out like certain frequencies from a sound, so you can take out all the high end, all the low end. Like any frequencies in between, any kind of frequency, you can take it in or out of it and like really screw the sound up a little bit. Um, and sometimes it's for the better, sometimes you can make it sound really shit. Does uh, EQ stand for equalize? I actually think it does, yeah. It probably does, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Literally, yeah, yeah. like, we are a few, yeah. we're a few months into this process, that, so. That is, that is what you do. You kind of, people, you EQ, most people do in their cars just without realizing. You know, in your car, when it has like bass or treble and you turn the bass and the treble up yeah. and down. You are kind of EQing then, like the bass section is all the low end frequencies and when you change that you're making them, just them low frequencies higher or lower but you just don't realise you're doing it, whereas if, if someone was like EQ this, you'd be like what? But if you got in your car and <laughs> what? someone was like, you what? Know, and you were like, you know, sort the bass and the treble out till it sounds nice, someone would just be like, oh alright, yeah cool. Okay, yeah, so you, That is just, basically that. You're just manipulating the sound to something more, well that suits well, you better. not the sound, not the, not the sound. So EQing is the melody staying completely the same, um, the key and stuff staying the same. It's just the frequencies within within those sounds and those notes. Although I, I couldn't tell anyone. Key of this, to be fair. He has changed the key already, though. Surely the frequencies frequencies equals vibration, which equals sound, right? No, not quite. What does frequencies mean then? I'm not a scientist, mate. <laughs> I love science, I'm not a scientist. Oh, yeah. And if we're honest, we are talking from quite an ignorant perspective because we are new to this, but from what we've learned so far, um, this is kind of how it works. Yeah, I mean, I guess um, you lack a bit of technical knowledge, but you have so much experience in... In the studio, yeah. I yeah. mean, we, we, we have just started making our own stuff, but we have been in that studio for the last, like, seven, eight years, so we've got a bit of a head start. Mm. Um, but, well, I don't want to say seven, eight, we've been in music for about seven, eight years, but being in that studio for the last four or five, Mm. Probably done like 500 studio sessions between us. Um, so you do end up picking up a load of stuff and you start to understand like standard plugins, standard like processing, 
um, sort of methods like and all producers generally I've never seen a producer do it the same as another one um, so that's why I'm saying that's why we're saying this isn't necessarily right or wrong it's just how we approach it and I know that in like a year or two we'll be like oh that's weird we don't do that anymore we do something else <laughs> um, but neither of us play an instrument to like an exceptional standard so we for us it's much easier to go to the laptop or go to voice notes than it is to say a really good guitarist would go to the Start guitar the first guitar, yeah. yeah or the piano and we are both like learning piano and, and Sonny is like getting much more competent on the keys so that will probably be a new way that we start looking at things as well uh, what you'll know is this thingy arcade yeah so this is arcade which is a really cool plugin and it's like a load of like different sometimes vocal sounds and sometimes there's other like flute sounds or weird sounds on there and it like works alongside your keys and um you can just come up with really cool, interesting melodies. So he was just playing the keyboard there, but really he was playing the flute. Kind of, yeah. It can play the flute. Sometimes there's vocal melodies. We love the vocal stuff that it does. Like sometimes, like like the C, a C or something will be like a, uh, uh, mm. and like an F will be like a, I don't wanna fur. So it's like, I don't wanna fur. And you can just play the play through the keys and come up with. A completely unique melody. And the internet stopped like for again. ages, and we do in this house sometimes suffer with internet, um, which is annoying. It's going to slow slow this down a bit, but yeah. so we're going to cut for a sec whilst we uh, find some more sounds. Um, so you guys don't get bored. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see where it goes. Get to the time lapse, and we're back. We are back. And Sonny's put a few interesting things together, man. It's sounding like. What are you saying, like sort of R and B kind of like the weekendy, like yeah. Got this mad like guitar riff running through it. Is that piano as well, or organ or something? So far, we've got we've got this sound here that we like pitch down, all that kind of stuff that sounds like that. Now we took that down like three semitones. And then we added this sound, pull that down as well. It was like this. Hmm. We put some effects on it. And then with that. And then all of them so far. ear candy in there now like a little bit like that he has actually put in um some snares um which we'll show you in a sec <laughs> you're so cute aren't you she always comes up here it's cute whenever we um <laughs> she'll chill wherever anyone is so when we all come up here to do some music stuff she'll just stand up like trotting up those stairs comes on in and just finds a chill place on the sofa <laughs> And she's only like nine weeks. When she's nine years, she'll be on the keys. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What, what? So probably about 25 minutes now into the process. If you minus the Wi Fi being an absolute bastard. So it is like this. Our timeline's already getting pretty busy. Yeah, and with this. <laughs> Some like hats going on and stuff as well here, so we add yes. these, and then put some like snares in as well, and kicks. So we just like put each individual sound in basically until we like it. Um, and then we add it, well I'm adding these kicks in a minute. Oh, computer didn't like that. <laughs> computer says no, mate. Computer says no. I've run out of memory.
place now where the track's pretty alive, and soon enough, once we sort out that bass in 808, we should be able to start laying some melodies. Ooh, exciting. Which is where it really starts to take a life of its own. And then, then we go back through and start taking out little bits and then start building around that and go to like a verse and a, and a bridge and stuff. Um, so like, make it full to start with and then potentially strip some of it out, make some little like moments and stuff. Mm -hmm. But as you can hear, that's pretty like, that's a pretty hard hitting beat for about half hour's work. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah man, tune back in in a sec and we should hopefully be at a place where we are... Singing? Singing. So we've sort of got like, you know, a rough idea. It's nothing crazy, but it's like something to write to, at least. A rough idea, a rough vibe. And then we'll listen to it through a few more times, and then we normally play like this, hum some ideas. Rai's a fan of, you like uh, getting your favorite melodies on your notes, Sports kind of yeah. like adjust them from there, um, which is quite a cool method. And then once we've listened to it two, three times, whack the headphones on, and then you go and mumble some gibberish. And the reason I say gibberish is because I feel like when people hear like, or see people writing songs, they expect them to go to the mic and the words just come out. <laughs> um, and I don't know about a lot of other people, but with us at least, for the mo most part, we... Um, We're we, not Eminem. Yeah, we just literally <laughs> mumble like utter shit for like the first five minutes and then we try and develop some lyrics towards those. So, for example, we well, yeah, we don't normally do lyrics first, do we? Do melodies first? No. Nah. So, for example, say your grace. We didn't really have lines at first. It was just one of us to the beat, sort of going. <laughs> like it's just hums, moves, moves, muscles, you know, just nothingness. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, we start putting some concepts together. Yeah, I always find it funny as well when we are mumbling. You genuinely have like a go-to word, and like it could be like paper or something, and you just end up you find yourself. Mumbling completely different melodies, we're going like, hey, nah, 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 paper, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's really weird. You'll see it in a minute, and it's quite embarrassing. But um, I keep hearing it with this funny. one about a kitchen. Literally, yeah, the weirdest words. They just fit. So it's along those lines, you know. You just spout shit. Yeah. Ready? Let's do it, man. You you send one. So we just get in there and um, see what happens. Look at me, Mum, I'm in the studio. <laughs> well done. All right. When you're ready, mate. I've been riding while I'm rolling through my city. Catching all the bitches while I'm holding through this women I don't need to see no numbers, but I'm sitting ready thinning I'm an in and tight until I see these out of thinning So watch am I feeling? Do you really my ceiling? Do you tell them what's up? Am I sitting on the top? What you do? What you feeling? First two or three are normally all four, and then you find like a little pocket. Where you're like,
Time to admit a lot of profanity. I do find myself swearing a lot uh, when coming up with melodies, and it's not because I have a potty mouth. I do have a bit of a potty mouth. Uh, it's just because swear words just seem to sound cool. So what we're trying to get at is, quite <laughs> frankly, we're leaving ourselves quite vulnerable here. <laughs> On a real, so you actually ready? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm interested to play with the verse melody. <laughs> I don't gotta stay until you come in. I see your party got me fucking. I got another than a seat and then fuck me later. Since you fucking this hater. I can sing in you twice and you fucking the nights and you fucking the papers. And it comes you coming. Yeah. Or the past you see me running. Yeah. See the cop when you pick it now, I'll see you later. I can see it for me twice and Muhammad to the ladies. You know, you caught me, shit, you coming. I said it twice, you fucked this running, cause you're running. I got an ACP coming loving, got a race to pitch in the fucking off street. I'm a fucking out girl, cause you're coming, you're fighting. I fucked the timing. <laughs> All right, so we just listened to that one back, and there's some bits in there that we like, some bits that we're gonna just try and go to a different place. See what happens with that register of like, I'm a nookie turn on it. Those like group of notes. We, I think it's quite cool with the track, isn't it? There's something there. There's something there around like, Aah. So, try that and then I'll try to go somewhere else completely as well and see what happens. Did you fucking right? Send a K to P, come down to the time. Cause I watch you free and you're fucking all buzzing, yeah. And it goes to a different place, like. Cause I'm on the kind of wants to fade. You stood, you played. You come in and get five and you fuck it your way. You got baby. And I got got later. And I coast you play. You stick it all twice. I can see you later. You said you can fuck it. I can see you riding. I got all these bitches coming love you to the side. Yeah. Now we're gonna go later. For a bridge melody, maybe that last one was. Going for one more quick because you're on a bit of a roll. Alright. It's just sort of flowing out. Nice hands on that. Mm -hmm. I said it to the parking, you can see you walking. I got this set around, you know you're stopping. Stop be stomping on the fries, don't be stomping on the right end. Yeah, yeah, so we finished doing vocals now. And just for those of you out there who aren't used to production softwares, this is pretty basic, but we've got um, all of these here. So this is the track up here, and this is all our vocal takes. And you can see they're quite long, mm. and they extend from like the intro to the, of the song all the way up to what could be like a second, like the the first bridge or like second chorus yeah, or roughly. something. And in there is a load of different ideas. And um, we found in the past that one of the easiest ways is just to go through and pick out, um, obviously like key bits, there's a load of shit in there. There's, there's places where you're just kind of finding a melody. So we delete all those stuff, clean it up, find the good, um, like the good ideas. And what we've just said, which might be interesting, and we've, we spoke about this idea the other day, didn't we? I think Sonny coined the idea and it's, it's quite cool. And we're going to try it for this and just copy and paste the track. So we literally have like, well, what would be like an intro to the first chorus and then an intro to a second chorus. And we're going to have two completely different like melodic structures. So we can then just hear them side by side. Yeah. It's just like part one of a song and part two almost. Yeah. And okay, so can... the first part we have one song and part two would be a melody of a different song. Essentially. Yeah, so the same track, just completely different melodic structures. And then we can then hear them side by side and go, oh, do you know what? This bridge might fit better there or this bit might be better there and that hook there might go better rather than refine ourselves to just one structure we could create two and we think that we might actually get better options that way we've not done it before so it might fuck up but 
Tune we're, back in. we're not saying that this is right either. Like this is just how we do it. We're just sort of exposing ourselves a little bit and just yeah. showing you how we do it. And granted, like normally ninety percent of this vocally and idea wise will be just full of shit. But the idea is we both get around like a minute and a, a minute and a half to two minutes worth of different melodies on there, freestyle. Get rid of the ninety percent of shit and then you're left with like a solid ten percent between us both and you can usually come up with two, three melodies from there, that's yeah. a verse, a chorus, something like that, and you can start working a song around a concept. Yeah. So we're gonna try this out and then um so obviously you've heard us lay everything. Um so now um, we're going to switch the camera off a sec and just go through and pick out all the stuff because we're just going to be listening over and over and I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that and then um, when you come back we should then have this different like structured format and we can start picking between what we like the most cool which is cool let's fucking do it yo so here we are we've chopped up the vocals done nothing else to the track just literally chopped up vocals and um, and like relayed a few a few of them just so that they like fit a bit tighter with each other. Mm -hmm. But it's mostly everything you heard a minute ago on the mics. And um, we've got like Sunny section and then my section because I comp my vocals, he comps his vocals. And then um, what does it mean to comp a vocal? So you take like bits that you like from one take and bits that you like from another take and like blend them together. If that okay. makes sense. This is a very shoddy job of it because we're only mumbling and like putting like a guide down. Um, but you're gonna hear Sonny's first, then mine after. But what we do later on is we blend the two and find like a chorus structure and a verse structure and a bridge structure or whatever kind of thing we wanna go for. Uh, but you're gonna hear two separate kind of songs right now. Okay. But the next step would be to put them together, but that is a very mm. like lengthy process. We're not gonna show you that today. See, for the price of one. Exactly. Indeed. <laughs> so to summarize, we come in, we make a vibe type idea slash beat whatever you want to call it it's not like a finished product none of none of this is yeah and then we mumble 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 at the mic both of us chop both of them up and then once we've got one that we like we normally go away and then actually start the song this is yeah. kind of the idea making process and then after this comes like the making and of the song. Uh, i've also had the benefit of hearing you go through the process so you would say what you've done in this hour is developed an idea that you can now use to mm -hmm. make a song. Yeah, a concept. And the concept wouldn't necessarily be like a million miles off of this, but you know, everything would just be like a bit better. I'd say, you know, right now the production would maybe be at like 60, 70%. And then, you know, the melodies, as you know, they're probably like 50% because they don't even have lyrics, but you know, they're just concepts and ideas. Once we, you know, blend the two of these, get what we like, yeah. What's, what's good is that if there's like too many ideas and we're like, oh, we kind of want to keep this, 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 and this, then then we can like kind of make a middle eight or have two completely different verses or a third verse or an outro intro. So there's so many places these melodies can go, but the chances are 50% of them will not be used. But that's good because we think we've got quite a few strong ones in here. Yeah. So yeah let's listen to it. This is Sunny first. <laughs> Robbie and my chopped up mumbles <laughs> <laughs> and yeah that's like the rough idea for that one and then uh do you know what right go on you take the seat for this one mate or... <laughs> you 
see here as well, in the screen, there's still more ideas, there's still more things we could go and look at, but this is the ones we decided for for now. And I gotta stay until you come in. This like moments that are floaty and then into the choppy and then yeah, back to the floaty. Bits. Yeah, They're quite like cool. Mm -hmm. I think the mixture then would be pretty good. It's interesting we both went for like those two kind of vibes, like between a floaty and then a choppy, and like the pace of the song works really well, didn't yeah. it? To like pick it up like that. Those sustained notes in both the choruses as well. That's yeah, easy. It's quite an easy listen, I think, which is um, which is cool. But yeah, that's yeah. Um, like it doesn't annoy me to hear. So once it's polished up and we've got some stuff and we'll actually write a properly record actual decent takes and that. Yeah, and that could be that could be something. It'd be Pretty fascinating awesome. to see if you make this raw idea into a finished well, bro, song. We we probably have like eight of these. We have eight. Some that are a lot further along as well. We have so many of these kind of things that like every day we're just like looking at new ideas and stuff. And sometimes we do forget, don't we? It's like, oh, do you know mm. what? There are actually <laughs> like a whole load back there that we haven't finished. But um, it's made the process like more efficient each time, which is why we were comfortable enough to make this video and see what everyone thought of it. Um, yeah, we hope you liked it and in the comments let us know um, like if there's like moments you liked or if you think there's something we could do better with the actual video and the storytelling because it's the first time we've done this concept, isn't it? But yeah, and if you make music just by chance, you know, let us know how you do it because this is like this is early stages for myself and Ryan in terms of production, not necessarily with the music, but you know like the actual producing and stuff and uh, the songwriting like process as a whole with producing. So if you do it different, you know, let us know because and come round. <laughs> yeah, and come round. Because we're just yeah. kind of sending it at the moment and seeing what works and what doesn't. I can imagine, you know, when we watch this back in a year's time, we will probably come up with our ideas very differently. Yeah, no, um, it's true, man. Oh, and yes, yeah, Say Your Grace <laughs> comes out this oh. Sunday. So uh, this Sunday, Say Your Grace music video, which we had a load of fun making. And a fun fact as well, it's the first time Robbie has ever filmed and edited a music video. <laughs> Ever, Indeed, ever, and we literally run and gunned it with a camera in London. There was no like special equipment, special effects, lighting, or anything like that. We just run and gunned and had a bit of fun doing it. Yeah, I think for those of you that are waiting for a video, you're gonna like it. It's come out very, very good. Yeah. And uh, if you've not heard "Say Your Grace," go give it a listen. It's on Spotify right now, and yeah. Apple Music and all that good stuff. And the music video will be out this Sunday. But yeah, wicked. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, and uh, we'll bring another podcast out soon as well. Wicked, mate. Wicked cool, Kanye West. Big up Kanye. Actually, I don't know. He's. If I had the chance, you know that I would take it. You can take your time, you're going through some change.